from education, health to infrastructure, as well as human capital development among other sectors. Governor Amin Waziri Tambwal might have left nothing to, to chance in executing his development agenda. Well, my name is Idris Jibrin and welcome to Inside Sokoto. And on this episode of the program, we shall be discussing with the State Commissioner of Information, Muhammad Aikibut Alhatu, who will be talking to us on some major achievement of the administration in all sectors. Take a look. Thank God you started with education, which is a fundamental, uh, almost, uh, let me say, a base of whatever achievement uh, in this time of, uh, in this world now, today. Whatever you want to achieve, you have to give emphasis on education because education is a foundation. Once you educate your children, uh, really design a kind of uh, a good future for them. When Temple came in, like you said, the type of education system he met in 2015, it was a messed one. You see a lot of children sitting on the ground. Some of them don't even have classes studying under the trees in the rural areas. And teachers were posted from towns or from villages to hamlets. They don't go. In Sokoto, uh, before we even have a kind of a nomadic education, whereby even we, we, we have the teachers following the nomadics wherever they settle down and teach their children. But when, when Tambor came in, he made a lot of uh, the whole system collapse. So he has to declare a state of emergency. And also appointed uh, uh, the Sultan of Sokoto and gave him the trust fund for that education. There is a trust fund for education, which the Sultan of Sokoto laid the, uh, the board of that panel. What happened? If you see the work they did, at least rehabilitated a lot of secondary schools. I don't think we ever have a kind of an upstairs uh, classes or, or, or structures in all our primary schools. Until this time, because what that uh, committee did, they did a lot. They went to rural areas and in the urban areas, they rehabilitated some, 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 some primary schools, had classes, had, so some don't even have administrative block. In the sense, they build administrative block. And where they, there is no even uh, structures at all, they build more primary schools. Mm -hmm. So you can see that is at the primary level. Even at the secondary school level, they upgraded some primary schools to junior, to study after the junior secondary schools. And then uh, a lot have been done in the area of education at the level of primary and secondary schools under that declaration of uh, emergency. And come to the tertiary institutions. I, they did a lot, at least more than 200 or about 300 uh, children were sent to various countries, ranging from Ukraine and in India in Sudan. We have our children studying and the important courses, science-related courses, right from the medicine to pharmacy, to nursing courses, in Assam, to some of the, uh, uh, we call it medical engineering courses. Mm -hmm. We never had such, in Assam, uh, a time when larger number of children were sent out of the country to go and have an, inter an uninterrupted education. Why I call it uninterrupted? Because most of their colleagues now in Nigeria, you can see because of strikes, you know, sent by us to strike, you know, it had been inter interrupted. And while our children who goes out to study a uh, five-year course, six-year course, come out, you, they will meet their mates in Nigeria at, at level four. Maybe they will be ahead of them. So in the area of education, I cannot say, and even just um, recently, I have seen that there was a release from the scholarship board where the uh, they spend a lot of money, millions of naira, sponsoring our low students who graduated from the university to go to the low school in Abuja, Lagos, and Enugu and Kano, there are low schools, and they sponsored them to go out there and become baristas. You know, at, at, at law, because they are not baristas yet. Mm -hmm. They are only students of law. Yeah. So, but Sokoto State student, that is not even compulsory. I want to tell you the level of which Sokoto State government support education. 
understand? They pay them money to go out there and become barristers and come back. So I don't think there was ever any government that had that bulk, unless I know if you are son maybe then uh, maybe if you are close to government and you are son graduated at law, you beg the government to give him scholarship to go and study in Hassan at the law school and become barrister. But now they have fished them out from wherever they graduated and gathered them and sponsored the whole of them in Hassan who want to become barristers. And let me tell you, is that no support to education also? Yes. That is it. So there are a lot and whoever tell you in Hassan that the state of emergency in education did not work is just deceiving you. Because let him come to Sokoto and see for his own you know sir, with his own eyes. Uh, what a house man call Gani Akasa. That is what the you know, you know, son our government is doing. And then um, I leave education behind. Come back to health. Mm -hmm. One of the most important sector, you understand, know, in life. Mm -hmm. The health sector. Go to Sokoto and see what he did. And at least they engage a lot of pharmaceutical companies, bring in a lot of medicines for children and for women, especially pregnant women. Most of the places you go, the medicine is free for them. You understand? Unless there's any sabotage. Huh? But the, the government provides, you know, in the government hospitals. And then look at the hosp other hospitals they've been building. I know right now you can never go to any ward in Sokoto State that you lack at least a public health center, a PHC. And then if it's not there before, the government of Tambua put it in place. I know many, even in Sokoto, uh, urban area, now in many areas, in many areas where they call Ongwa Ongwa, you've seen, because recently I know if you go out there, you see, uh, I can mention a lot of areas, uh, but I know during campaigns, even so many people have been saying that please they want PHC, they want probably health center, at least where they can buy medicine, the Indian governor will say, go and start it. Not even after the re-election. I know of 2018-19. I know of a community, you understand, who beg for that. And he say, ah, go and start it immediately. He only direct the commissioner of health. Because he don't know that there are no other, you understand, such structures in that area and whatever. And uh, come to see uh, the revolution, you understand, in the hospitals and whatever. General hospitals, uh, like in Kwari local government, in... Uh, yeah. In Benji, they are in Benji local government. They are building a premier hospital. Mm -hmm. Premier hospital, not general hospital. Premier hospital is bigger than general hospital. Mm -hmm. There's another premier hospital in Sabon mm -hmm. under construction. There's another premier hospital in Tambo local government, and also in Sokoto town, he is building a, one of the biggest teaching hospital. Not only in Sokoto, in Nigeria, but in West Africa. Because that hospital is a teaching hospital of Sokoto State University. Remember that he was not the one that established Sokoto State University. His predecessor established Sokoto State University with only two faculties, I can say, and then some little structures. But when he came in, he said, no, 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 it's not enough. Because the school, the university could not even get uh, to be accredited because of lack of some structures. But he put them in place. He did a lot by putting a more faculties, built a big library, you know, and, 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 and some staff rooms, you know, and so many facilities there. Before we also only built a mox and uh, and two faculties, so it's, it's not enough to establish a university. But look at Tambual finished those structures, came back and built a teaching hospital with a college of uh, medicine inside the hospital. College of clinical service, they have a college inside. And you go hardly can see a teaching hospital with, a kind, with that kind of college in that university. And uh, the, the teaching hospital, I think the capacity is almost 2,000 beds. You know, that is at the section of the health sector. Come and see the Sokoto Diagnosis uh, Center, where they do check, the, you know, diagnosis center, Nursing center where they do check, uh, you know, uh, the health of uh, a patient or whatever. Do you can see the state of art facilities that have been put in place in that place? 
Those that have problems of going to Dubai, going to Saudi German, going to Iran, going to uh, Germany or whatever to check their health or to check their status, do the laboratory works and whatever before they can get in a to know their problem. Now, if they come to Sokoto, in a they'll get the same facilities that are in those countries. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what else do we need? Already before he came, there are hospitals. Yes. A lot of hospitals. We cannot say he did all. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of hospitals. But the effort he did to, to, to support those hospitals is enough for Sokoto people to say, thank you, Governor Avin Wazir Tambua. Leave that, go back to agriculture mm -hmm. and see what is put in place. I know we have before areas where the agricultural activities are taking place, like in Kwari, in Wurno, in Assad local government, and then, uh, yeah, part of Silami and the NPNG in so many places. You know, you can go and see now the products uh, that is being produced from those areas now and compare it to what's been happening in the last day. Last year, when uh, I know of last year, even when there was a scarcity of uh, fertilizer, mm -hmm. and when the fertilizer was about 17 or you know, uh, 16, 17 thousand in Sokoto, government bought that and gave a subsidy. You know how much they sold it? 4,500 and 5,500. The urea, yeah. you understand? And the MPK, and this year in the market is 22,000 naira. Up to 25 fertilizer. Mm -hmm. But in Sokoto, in Azan, the government sold it 13,000. Mm -hmm. In Azan, even because of, uh, say, maybe time change and, you know, a dollar raise and uh, a lot of, uh, in Azan, a uh, problem in the economic uh, cycle mm -hmm. in the country. But he sold it 13,000 naira to farmers. So tell me, what support do a farmer need? And recently, he gave a loan of about 4 billion naira on agriculture. Ranging from the, 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 the pumping machines, the, the what we call it, the sprayers, the herbicide, fungicide, and other insecticides, then uh, what we call it, the seeds uh, mm. for tomatoes and for, uh, for rice and, to, and tomato processing. I remember also Sokoto is, a, is number one onion producer. Go and ask the onions and uh, some farmers and see how much support did the Sokoto State government give them. And if you can give four billion naira loan to farmers, what do you expect them to produce? They will produce a lot. So I think we cannot say anything to right honorable I mean was your Tambor led administration, then thank you. And then maybe oh, wait, let's go back to the area of youth development. Understand and see what he did for the youth development. At least youth and sports development. Right now, if you go to Sokoto, you know, so immediately when you come out of the airport in Sokoto, come down, you pass the teaching hospital, you pass the Sokoto's uh, girl science college that he built. That girl science college only, you understand, can, is enough to be a university even in other countries. You saw it. I have been traveling out of the country. I went to Bulgaria and saw some, some medical colleges. That's our university. They're not up to that. They're not up to that standard. Yes, I went to Spain, I went to Italy, I went to Venezuela, I went to most of the countries. And I visited schools over there. Most of the schools are not as big as that. That is the university. But it's just a girl's second science secondary school. So opposite it, you see a laid down road linking between the uh, Benekebi Road to Guso Road. Lassan, that is laying down. On that road, you see a complex, a sports complex. That sports complex is an Olympic size sports complex. Right? The new stadium okay. is an Olympic size. Yes. So you see, for the youth to exercise their, you know, to do their exercise and sporting activities. So our youth cannot be idle now yes. because they have a lot of sporting activities to go and engage in, mm -hmm. you know, and to. In area of youth development, there are a lot of skills acquisition programs. Skill acquisition programs that they did because he even established an agency for skill development. He has a special advisor on skill development mm -hmm. who is a young man. You understand? Also, a youth under the bracket of that youth, 18 to 35. Mm -hmm. He is a special advisor. And then, 
he was the first that appointed a younger guy, just a 30-year-old boy, as a, you know, as, as a commissioner for, for youth and sports. Yes, in 2019. Commissioner youth and sports, a young boy. And the commissioner had been doing a lot to support the youth in the state. Because if you can give a commissioner as a young man, you carry also another special advisor on youth development, a young man. You have a special advisor on skills development, a young man. Those guys have a lot of programs for their fellow youths, yes. and they executed them. So think of the skills development that they teach, even the, some artisans. For those who are out of school or did not go to school at all, mm -hmm. eh, he taught them, they, they, they taught them at the youth development center in Sokoto, eh, how to do plumbing, tailoring, electric, electrical, electronics, you know. It's enough to say he cares for the youth. Those youths that are called area boys, he turned them to be, you understand, a very important persons, very important persons, before you see them in different tattered clothes and whatever. Yeah. Now, if you see somebody, a young man, you know, who was called area boy before, you will recognize him. He'd be in his good attire, just like myself. So, those are the things. And then, go back to youth, uh, to women development, you know, and see what the women development, the, the training the women development are doing. And I said, if you go back to girl child education and then and the girl and, and the children protection, you understand? Mm -hmm. hmm? From all the other nemesis, attacks, violence, and other things. You know, they are doing a lot. The woman there who is uh, I think the, the 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 commissioner she is doing a lot. You understand? I mean the permanent secretary there is a woman. Mm -hmm. And for the woman development, what he did, uh, he is the first person to have more than one woman as a commissioner. Before all, you see that in Sokoto State, eh, the only thing you see is a, a commissioner woman affairs. Hmm? Now, commissioner woman affairs normally is a woman. Commissioner higher education is a woman. Commissioner uh, science and technology is a woman. And apart from the many, many, many women permanent secretaries. Before a woman would be the director, but hardly even her junior will be a permanent secretary because I don't know whether for uh, tradition or for stepping on, uh, on, on, on a human right and whatever. Mm -hmm. You can see a woman being a director for how many years cannot be a, a permanent secretary. Now, most women there are permanent secretaries. There are most women there, special advisors. There are many women there, you understand, as even councillors. Mm -hmm. When you know they cannot, he say, no, 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 he has the right to, he appointed councillors. Even one day they say, in each local government, in three local government, you must have three councillors of women, at least. Yes, let them have at least 30%. Because most local government attend 10 councillors. 30% are women. Which government did that? You understand? Yeah. You know, go back to so many institutions and see what he's doing generally, and you will make sure you, 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 you be, you be assured that this man has done a lot. In the rural development, he has a ministry for rural development. Mm -hmm. He did a lot tired on, on, on tired roads, you understand, mm -hmm. in many rural areas. You know, and the same rural area, go to rural places and see where they don't have fertilizer, where they don't have, a, 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 I'll call it, a light. Mm -hmm. They are connected to national grid. But there was no light because in the past administration, you understand, they did a lot of vandalization. Okay. So he distributed under that ministry more than 500 transformers. Hmm. Huh? In only, only in nine, this 500 transformers, only in 92 communities. Hmm. You understand? Yes. You go and see the structures of uh, water supply in the rural area under solar, hmm. solar system water bowls. Okay. Where, whether you have light, you don't have light. In the, in, the, in, the, in the rural area, you have water. You have gone to Sokoto, you have gone around, you have seen. Yes. You have seen that before the coming of uh, uh, Amin Wazir Tambo as a governor of Sokoto State. First, Bafarawa built a bridge, and then uh, Wamoko come and built another bridge, uh, which will have a lot of congested area in Sokoto. And we have only two bridges. Eh? Mm -hmm. I don't want to say anything about the past administrator's bridge because you have seen it yes. on that just how many years. But look at the quality of work that uh, Amin Waziri is doing. 
Look at the overhead bridge hmm? in Adrunjinsambu. Look at the one at uh, uh, Rijet Dorua, you know, diplomat side. Huh? Look at the bridge at Gangaran Tasha Elela, where we call Mori side. Hmm? See the quality work they are doing. For hundreds of years, you can see that this work, you understand, will still be there. And there are intentions of putting in place other ones. Look at the dualization, you understand, of the important areas. Yes. Especially the ones coming to Sokoto. If you come from Ilela, coming to Sokoto. If you come from Tambua, eh, coming into Sokoto. If you come from uh, Guso Road, Lazan, let's say from Dengishuni, coming there, the place is under constructions. You see a lot. You see a lot of roads also in Sokoto town. And Lazan, that he's the one that did them, or rehabilitated them. Because most of the past government administration's uh, structures in Sokoto are now becoming dilapidated somehow. I don't know why. Maybe the quality of the contractors that did the work. You understand? And whatever. Come and see the, an area in Sokoto why they call Mabera. That time, if they fl if it's during the rain, the whole area will be flooded. You have seen it? And look at the work they are doing there. Now, the people of Mabera are saying bye-bye to flood. Their all structures, are all infrastructures that are being put in place in Sokoto town, Sokoto metropolitan. You see the roundabout, you see rehabilitations of, uh, uh, like I say, many roads, you know, in town. We don't have problem. We don't have problem at all. But the infrastructures, we thank God, we have uh, Tambor. Even look at our international conference center. It was started by uh, uh, our Moko administration. But they just started. Almost 90% almost fed, but maybe 40% done. But when he came, he has to abandon some other things and complete it because he knows that it's an important, it's an important uh, project. project for people to enjoy, to benefit. I need to see Sokoto State in another eight years to come a developed state. A developed state uh, in terms of uh, structures we are talking about, in terms of uh, a lot of facilities that will have an uh, immediate effect in the sun. Uh, to the people of Sokoto State. And then, uh, how do we get that? Yes. How do we get that is for this administration of Right Honorable Amin Wazir Tambo to continue. How will it continue? Amin Tambo is a politician and a democrat to the core who is trusted and is tested in leadership. So if he appoints somebody, if he, if, if he look for someone, search for someone, and not only him, because what I did, I did I mean, I mean Wazir did, you hardly see a governor that can do that. Most of the governors appoint the person that will inherit their government. Most of the governors, even in Sokoto, nobody challenged the past governors when they said, you are my, uh, yes, you are my candidate. But I mean Wazir come and throw it to the op open, to the floor, and say, whoever wants to contest, let him go and buy a ticket. Hassan, and by form to contest, from the governor to senators to members of right to members of assembly. When we have about how many people, maybe five or six people contesting for governor or governorship, he throw it to the stakeholders and consult people. Who is the best candidate for us? Use any yardstick, use any parameter, use any inch or whatever you want to use. Eh? to weigh a person, strength and weakness. And they did, and they come out with his former secretary to the government, Mahala Said Umar Obandoma. And you can see, when they presented the Obandoma at the stakeholders meeting, nobody said no, everybody said, thank God, we have a right candidate. And they went back to their delegates, and all the delegates, you understand, also affirmed that yes, he's the right candidate. So we don't have any crisis. The Obanduma, uh, as a candidate of the governor, was not just handpicked by Governor Tembo and imposed him on people, no. Governor Tembo did a consultation. And not only the party people, not only this, and some important personalities in the town, some important stakeholders from the ulama to traditional rulers to whatever, all of the people accept this guy. So now, if he become a governor, tell me, 
You understand? He has no option than to continue what Right Honorable Amin Ozeb Sambo started. And that Sokoto to would be a very fine, you understand, state. And he has a record, even on Bondo so he has a record. In Sokoto, he was a commissioner of finance, he was a secretary to the state government, and nobody sees him as a corrupt person or somebody who is not, you know, yeah. right? Uh, he has a very good background. So we believe we have a hope if he become a governor, you know, sir, you know, he will try at least hmm, to continue what his predecessor started. All right, I mean, Wazir Tambal has done a lot. The only thing the Sokoto people can do is to say, thank you, Radwan, I mean, Wazir Tambal. He left legacies that in hundreds of years, people will see it. And they will say, Kai, when that guy was governor, he did a lot. Well, that was the Commissioner of uh, Information here in Sokoto, Akibu Dalhatu, talking to us about some of the major achievements of the Tambwal late administration. He can go on and on, on and on, talking about all this uh, achievement of the administration. But this is so far we can take on the program, but that is not all. Do join us again next week when I will come with another fresh edition of the program. My name is Idris Jibrin, and thanks for watching. Thank you.